Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to review the Soundcore by Anchor Life P2 Mini True Wireless Earbuds. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is put the drop in real fast and we're going to hop right into this review. Alright guys, so we are back. And I have to be completely honest with you, I was super, I kind of figured that these headphones were going to be what I like. But um, for the price, I was a little bit, little bit skeptical. Now, you can find these for $39.99 online. Uh, I haven't found them in a store. Certain Anchor headphones you can find in store, uh, like Liberty Ear 2 Pros. And they're like uh, $129 regular price, sometimes on sale for $99. But these were $39.99. And, you know, we're at a point where in, there's different headphones in the market that are affordable. And not everybody wants to spend hundreds of dollars for headphones. Sometimes you can find a $30, $40, $50 pair that works just fine, but that is rare for that to happen. j Lab makes pretty decent headphones. But anyway, this is about these. So, what's the price? $39.99. I did order mine off of Amazon about a week ago. Um, I wanted to actually use the product and see how it was, see how well it worked in real time, go on a bus, the subway, all that fun stuff. So I have some good and I have some bad about it. But let me just answer the question, are they worth it? Absolutely for forty dollars, one thousand percent, because you get that quality um, sound core sound. If you ever had the Liberty Airs, the Liberty Air Twos, uh, just any type of sound core product in terms of sound quality and bass, you already know what you're looking for when you get this product. You know it's there. It's just a matter of these don't have active noise cancellation and they don't have um, ambient sound. So be aware that if you buy these, you're not going to get those two features. But again, for the price, I don't really expect that. So, anyhow, let's unbox this thing. Now, I did already take the booklets outside of the case. And this comes with the instructions about what the headset can actually do. So, the first thing we're going to do is just talk a little bit about the headset. Some of the features. And then we're going to talk about the negatives and kind of just give a final verdict. Even though I said I, I like them. I'm going to keep them for myself. The case is small. I like it. So far. So, you do get your USB-C. So micro U, not micro USB, USB A, I believe this is called to USB C, standard for most of their products. Um, right here, these are earbud tips. So they come from extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large. All that is inside of here. Well, actually, I believe the mediums are already on the headset itself. So count that out, mediums. But that's the five sets of headphones you get. So again, extra small, small medium large extra large so they do a good job of that that's what they do for most of their headphones they normally have them a big case where the headphones are like pushing to these grooves for the display but these are 40 dollar headphones so i guess they were trying to be cheap the funny part about that is that this presentation right here <laughs> and pulling this out initially because the headphones are normally covered by like a little film a plastic film um this looks better quality than the uh Beats by far already just coming out of the box. So let me show you how the headset looks. It is a fairly small headset compared to the other ones that they make. So this is the small little pill case that they have. I will say it's a little thick, but this case actually gives you 24 hours of battery life while the headset itself will give you eight hours of battery life of listening time. So let's pop that open. Here you are so you can get a good look at that. These do have the touch feature. We're going to talk about that in a moment. Um, you press this, this also will put the headphones in sync if you hold it, or it will just show you your battery life right here. So anyhow, when you're syncing these, you don't even have to take them out the case. All you have to do is open them like I did previously, flip this open, go to the Bluetooth, it will sync. So let me show you how the headset looks. This is actually a very small headset. If you looked at it in my hand, these are very small and I like the design that they did. Um, the only real downside now, first off, actually, let's talk about the downsides first. And we'll talk about the good side. There's two huge downsides in my eyes compared to the other earbuds that were a little bit disappointing, but at the end of the day, it wasn't too bad. Ultimately. So let me just keep this open and show you how the case look. It does use USB-C in the back, as you can see. Um, if you're one of those people where you're trying to protect the case, I doubt you're going to find any type of screen protector or plastic film protector or you might have to laminate it yourself however some people are creative with things there aren't i don't i haven't seen any cases for this device it's normally for like the galaxies or the airpods or something like that 
Anywho, and probably the uh, Beats soon because, you know, they're mainstream. This is what I'm going to say about these earbuds, the bad side. <clears throat> uh, the first thing is that there's no app support for this, meaning there is an actual Anchor app that supports the uh, noise cancellation and equalizers, ambient sound, and other things of certain products that they sell. This one doesn't do that. Now, it does have an equalizer setting because it has touch control. So if you please tap this three times, um, it will actually switch it over from the... Sorry, let me give you the exact information. Because it, it does, this headset does have double taps and t uh, triple taps, which are in the instructions. So let me make sure I just give that right. Give me one second right here. All right, so here we are. So if you click it three times, the right ear or the left ear, it will change your equalizer setting. If you tap it once, it'll pause or play music. If you tap it twice, it will actually uh, change the song. And also, if you tap it twice during a phone call, we already know it's going to pick up the phone call. You tap it twice again, it will hang up the phone call. Now, you do have the option to switch between stereo and mono mode. So if you use this with the left ear by itself or the right ear by itself, you have no issues whatsoever. Now, the second bad part about this is simply the touch controls right here. They're not very good touch controls, meaning it's not as responsive as I, what I thought it would be, where if you tap this, it'll work right away. Sometimes you have to press a little bit harder, depends on the sensitivity of your fingers. And a few times it paused, sometimes it didn't. But to be completely honest with you, um, when it comes to these type of headphones and touch controls, I was never a huge fan of touch controls with Anchor anyway. Like the Liberty Air 2 Pros, I didn't have an issue with those whatsoever. But if I compare that to a $30, a $40 headset, I'm not expecting too much out of the touch controls. They do work. Double tap works fine. It's easier to do single tap, to be honest, sometimes for me. Um, triple tap, uh, you know, it's kind of difficult. It's a little difficult to get used to. It, you can get used to the touch. Remember, I use these for a full week. So now I'm used to the touch controls. And what I can honestly say that I can compare these to the Galaxy Buds 2's touch controls where these work about 70, 60 to 70 percent of the time because of the sensitivity. Uh, Galaxy Buds work about 70 percent of the time or so, 80. So it's not that huge of a difference. They're not the greatest touch controls at all. Again, they don't have um, ambient sound and they don't have active noise cancellation. So I put this in a category with the Pixel Buds. Pixel Buds A's. I'm sorry, let me let me rephrase that. Now, not downplaying the Pixel Buds like they aren't good. The Pixel Buds have much better technology in them where they can read text messages back and a few things on Google devices. I'm just talking about the sound profiles itself, like call quality, listening to music. These, I can honestly say, rival the Pixel Buds. Now, the Pixel Buds might sound a little clearer with the highs and mids and whatnot, but again, these are $40 and they really give it a run for, for their money. So if you're the type of person where noise cancellation isn't really a big thing, if you don't care about ambient sound like that and you have no issue not using those, because they do still make headphones, a lot of headphones that don't have those features, they make them more affordable for people looking for a different, you know, uh, category of headphones. Not everybody wants to spend their whole paycheck on some headphones. Let's be real here. Uh, these are super good. Like I can honestly say that majority of the JLab headphones don't compare to this a lot of the uh i would use these over the beats buds any day like the only thing the beats really have is that tap that physical button which i do like that and the fact that the noise cancellation is pretty decent on the beats buds but other than that mm, no nah, i'd rather use these any day these are more sturdy the hinge is much more sturdy i had issues with it Woo! almost dropped it i almost dropped it let me put this right back <laughs> almost dropped the headset i caught it Thank God. I was like, this thing does not have a scratch on it yet. So <laughs> I'm happy I did that. Um, anywho, let me stop talking about the beat. That was a bad omen right there. <laughs> so they don't have wireless charging. Not to be expected. Uh, you get eight hours of battery life, 24 in a case. They are IPX5. So if you're walking outside, running, jogging, it's raining, it's drizzling, you're sweating, you will be fine wearing these headphones. Now, don't be in a torrential downpour somewhere where the city is flooding. Obviously, it's not going to survive that. But your basic usage every day, you're sweating, you're going to the gym. These can definitely be headphones that you could use for that. Um, they're Like I said, they're small, they're very lightweight, and they're very comfortable. To be honest, this reminds me of the AirPod Pro designs. But I can honestly say that because of this 
size and the shape of the headset itself, it actually fits better in my ear than in AirPod Pros where uh, they don't feel bad. And obviously this isn't a replacement to those, but I'm just giving you a comparison of size of the earbuds. Like these are actually super small. And I was very, very surprised that they did this. Like if, if they would have made it like the Skull Candy dime case, that would have been beautiful, like flat. But I don't, I'm not mad that this case has 24 hours of battery life, which most should. It has the eight hours of your listening time. So you know the talk time is going to be like maybe uh, six hours or so. So it's like, it's not bad. Like this is still better than a lot of the industry standards in terms of battery life. We're not comparing it to Bose. We're not comparing it to necessarily Galaxy Buds Pluses and things like that in terms of quality of sound. I'm just saying that it does, if you bought these for someone or for yourself, I don't see you having an issue where you'll say, I can't stand the sound. It sounds terrible. You're not going to go through that. You, you are going to like the sound. Um, another thing about these is that they do not have an ear detection. So if you're one of those people where you take the earbud out of your ear and your song or video or phone call or whatever it is, pause, not pause, not phone call, obviously. But if you take it out of your ear and you're watching something and it pauses, this does not have that in-ear detection where it will pick that up. The Liberty Air 2 Pros have in-ear detection, but not these. But when you take them out of the case, to be honest, they actually charge fairly fast fairly well um not fairly well i haven't had any disconnection issues when i go underground i haven't had any disconnection issues or stutters uh, i haven't had any issues when playing video games with lag and, st and stutter or even with videos so if you're watching a movie you're watching a tv show it doesn't look like one of the old kung fu movies where the lips is moving sometimes it happens regardless of what you use i know that happens in my car a lot with the bluetooth because car bluetooths aren't nearly as good as some of these headphones I'm talking about the standard ones that you just get put in a car. You know, they just throw anything in there at this point. But like I said, these are good headphones. The sound quality is very good. The battery life is very good. Uh, the comfortability is very good. They come with multiple tips. You have the option to switch the tips off and use even your personal ones if that's what you prefer. Um, really, there's nothing to like. I mean, outside of not having wireless, which I'm, I'll, I'll, say that it's probably a safe bet that more than 50% of the population doesn't even use wireless charging. I'm pretty positive, uh, confident I can say that. Get these. Now, let me pull up the case so you can see them again. These are the Life 2 Minis. Very good headset, good sound, good battery life, good call quality, no crackling when you're playing it up loud, if you're blasting music. You know, some headphones struggle when you do that. I haven't had any issues with these headphones whatsoever with connectivity. Of course, it could be the fact that I'm using a particular phone that might have better Bluetooth than some others. You know, it happens sometimes. I know Motorola's don't have the best Bluetooth capability. They, they drop a lot in certain devices, especially the Metro by T-Mobile ones. But again, to each their own. You, sometimes you have to try something out for yourself and determine if it's for you. And for $40, uh, I, again, this is a product where most companies, if someone else stamped their name on it, like Skull Candy or something, these would be $80, $90 headphones. Now, granted, there are another pair of headphones that Anchor makes that's similar to these that do have active noise cancellation and ambient sound and the things that you want for like $79. That's when you're going to higher territory and prices. You'll still be under 100 But again, this is for the person that doesn't want to spend 50 bucks for a headset. They're trying to spend less. They want something that still has quality, doesn't feel like cheap garbage, and works well with Bluetooth connectivity and no issues. Um, this is definitely a headset for you. The Life P2 Mini Soundcore Anchors. I don't think you can find them in store, but you can definitely get off of Amazon. Uh, last week I got my, when I got mine, I got it the same day delivery. It came between two to six PM. By the time I got home from work, it was already there. Tore them open, used them for a while, loved them, gave them to my wife for a minute. She put them in her ear. She said that these are more comfortable than the Liberty Ear 2 Pros, which I'm sorry. She didn't say that those were uncomfortable. They just slip out of her ear because of the way the shape of the headset is. But these don't, she doesn't have a problem with them. She said they feel lighter weight. She likes them better. And granted to the fact that she's working a particular job now where she can work indoors. And sometimes you might just want to have a headset in so you can listen to a podcast or something. If it's quiet or it's dead, you know, you don't want your job to see you walking around with a whole headset on your head. So it's very small. If you have hair and you have enough to go past your ear, these will definitely be blocked. So anyway, um, that's the video pretty much. I have nothing negative to say about this. Like, like I said, 
outside of the touch itself, just the touch buttons on the headset, uh, I didn't like that. I didn't like the touch features on these. They didn't work that well, in my opinion. Once I got used to them, they felt fine. But with most headphones that are touch, whether they're Galaxy Bud Pros or something, I never had that issue. It was just like I knew exactly where to tap it the very first time with no issue, and I never had to look. With these, I have to kind of feel around and just make sure I'm in the right spot, then lift my finger and tap it to uh, get it to either hang up a phone call or answer a phone call. So lately, I've just been using my watch to answer the phone. But other than that, I don't have any issues with them. They have AI, uh, AI enhanced calls. It's clearer. It helps like, uh, what's the word? How do I explain it? You can hear the person more and more clearly than you normally would uh, with another headset. They're good. They're great. My wife loves the way the call quality is on these. She said she couldn't tell the difference between really, well, she could tell the difference between this and the Liberty Air 2 Pros, but it wasn't that much of a difference where most of these headphones use the same specs anyway. They just vary in prices based on the market that they're trying to hit. Definitely get these. I suggest this bad boy right here. Love it. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I will see you guys in the next video.